My name is Gary Roberts. I'm an independent writer and director. Yeah, so I was living with um, a band called Felix Fables and yeah, they asked me to sort of do their first music video. After doing music videos for a while, I kind of got offered to do some, you know, promos and, and campaigns and, and stuff like that for an agency that I work for now and that sort of opened that up. I didn't study film, I didn't study anything academically, it was all self-taught, um, but I come from a very heavy art and design background, so I, I use that to inform my work. So I've just finished my short film, The Problemless Anonymous. It had to be made sort of, you know, within 12 weeks. So we, we put loads of time onto the script. So I think some of the struggles I've had making this short was time for me, because I think um, I had a, given, a set given time and obviously money can only go so far. So again, it's, it's, it's you know, it's always, it does really come down to, to budget. I think getting something funny is quite difficult. Um, especially for any first timers. I really want this year in the next couple of years just to keep showing different uh, ways of storytelling that I've got in me. And I think, yeah, the struggle is kind of thing like, how do, how do I make the next one? It's challenging to actually show someone how you're going to make something if you've not had um, a wealth of experience before. So as a first time filmmaker, you're always going to get challenged there where you probably can't do that or you have no you have no proof that you've done something like this and i think that happens a lot so i think what you should just do is just try to make it i think it's difficult to get it shown at uh, you know at big festivals i think that's a you know there's so many films submitted to things like Cannes and tribeca and sundance and stuff so your odds are, are really against you in that sense but that doesn't mean that it, it should stop you. I think what you have to do is judge what you want the film to do. For independent films, getting distribution is probably quite difficult. I think you really need partners to help you do that. I think there's, you, there's some element of self-distribution. I've not, I've not done that yet. So I think like, I have no experience in that. I think I've just heard some things from friends that, you know, sort of make you sort of think, it's doable, but it takes up, it will take up a couple of years of your life dedicating your time to making the said film and then getting it an audience in a distribution sense. Working with real sort of production partners, I guess, to sort of actually get an independent film into cinema. I think the idea is what drives you to make a film because you spend the money. So the money doesn't exist at the end of the thing, it's the film that exists. So it's the idea of the film, it's the story, it's the heart of the film. Through the sum of everybody working together, the crew, the cast, coming on because they love the script, and pretty much it's made up of all, you know, friends, you know, especially now. But before, some of us were kind of strangers on set in that sense, but I think it's just because the sum of everybody came together and we, we got to make it because everybody sort of believed in it. So I, I don't think that looking forward, I want money. I just want to be, keep given the opportunities to, to tell a story. I think the difference between Hollywood and independent films, for me, for me, I, you know, I love both. I think because I quite like being able to go to and see a popcorn film and be amazed at sort of the level of the work to Indiegogo model challenges what Hollywood has coveted for so long and, and being able to held is that those sorts of budgets are not accessible to indie filmmakers and actually that it just proves again that if the idea and the story is interesting, the audience will help actually make it.